Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss this IPv6 multicast scope. So multicast scope, it means some idea which is related with IPv6 multicast address. As you know that we don't have the uh, broadcast in IPv6, we only have multicast. So the scope actually defines the boundary or point to which IPv6 packets can travel. So just like we have a local area network, metropolitan area network, wide area network. So you can see this and uh, not exactly same, but somehow uh, we can understand with that. So this is the boundary or point which, which, uh, to which IPv6 packets can travel. It actually guides whether the router should forward that particular packet or not. So by looking at the IPv6 multicast address, which should be available in the packet, so when the router receives that packet, it looks into the IPv6 address of that packet and then decide whether that particular router should forward that packet or not. This is dictated by the multicast scope. So for example, here we have IPv6 multicast address. So you can recognize that this is FF is the, in the star. So this is multicast address and there is fourth digit so the fourth digit is going to identify the scope it means if we are going to study the scope we need to focus on the fourth digit which is in the hexadecimal digit the fourth the digit is going to identify the scope so now in the fourth digit we have one and when we have one in the fourth digit it means that is going to refer that this multicast packet is for interface local Interface local means the packet in which this is the this is the fourth digit. Then packet travels within device. So packet is not allowed to get out of the device. And this is used to check some services within the device. For example, here you see this is a node. For example, this is a tablet or laptop. So if this is the address, it means that packet will remain within the interface within the interface it will not it will not get out of that interface because this is the scope dictated by this fourth digit in the hexadecimal format of ipv6 address so this interface local scope so this has to remain within the node and uh, now the second uh, ipv6 multicast scope you can see focus on the fourth digit so the fourth digit is two before this this was one now this is two and two means this is a scope for this multicast packet is link local so before this was interface local but now this is a link local link local means packets can only travel on a single link but the router does not forward it for example here now this packet can get out of the node and they can travel within the same link. So they remain within the local link. The router will not forward them further. This is because of this fourth digit present in this IPv6 multicast address. And now you see the fourth digit has been changed and now this is five and this indicates that now the scope for this multicast is site local. Site local means, for example, this is a building. We can have multiple users, we can have multiple computers, even we can have routers. But those packets must remain within that site. So packets can be forwarded by routers, but that must be within a site. So we have to define the boundary of a site that can be single building, multiple buildings, single office. So we have to define with the help of configuration, but the scope of that packet is site local. Finally, we have this eight. It's not final, but we still have, but eight, the fourth digit. Focus on the fourth digit, that is eight. So if we find the uh, fourth digit having value of eight, it means this is now the organization level. So within an organization, we can have multiple uh, buildings, we can have multiple offices, but now the scope of that multicast packet has been increased. It means now the packet can move 
further that packet can go bit away so organization level so packet has to remain or packet travels within organization so this organization scope and now the final scope is represented by e and so this e represents that there is no boundary for the packet packet travels without any boundary they can they can um, travel globally so this is the you can say global scope no boundaries for that uh, specific multicast uh, packet so these were the scopes of multicast packets which we discussed so starting from the really interface level up to global level these all scopes of the multicast packet are dictated by the fourth digit of this ipv6 address or multicast ipv6 address so yes this was some introduction of uh, multicast scope and uh, yes thank you thank you very much for your time and see you in some other ipv6 related videos